Alright guys and welcome back to a new redstone for dummies. Today we have the always, it always happens. So alright, so we have the slash TP command which allows you to uh, teleport something to somewhere else. Basically the command goes like that. You go slash TP, uh, whatever player's name you want to TP and then coordinates. So here I've got these coordinates set up in the command blocks and this these coordinates represent that block that's right here. So on top of that red wool block. So it will teleport my me. I'm going to So it will teleport myself just like this. So if I press the button from here, I'm going to get teleported right there on that redstone on that red wool block and if I press it from somewhere else well something happens it will always teleport me here doesn't matter where I am in the world now I can do that using the at a uh, argument from right here so targets all players so if I go like that every players in the world will be teleported to that square right there so if I do it again I'm alone now so nothing happens besides me going here so you can't really see the uh, difference, but it does it for everyone in the server. Same thing happens for entities. So at E for entities, if I spawn a couple sheep and I teleport everyone there, then all entities are getting teleported here. And since I am kind of an entity too, then uh, we all get there, even me. And it doesn't work for the at A command. So everyone does not get teleported here, it's just players. And again, at E, every mob basically will get teleported there. Next, we can teleport a player to another player using this command, same thing, slash TP, your name or the person's name you want to teleport to what person. So, me to someone else and not someone else to me. It's the first name that goes in is the same the first name that goes in is the name of the person getting teleported and the other name is the uh, destination basically so be careful with that you might switch them up and get screwed but whatever first one gets teleported the second one gets teleported to that person quite simple just don't get confused next you can use relative coordinates so here I'm gonna teleport myself to one block higher than where I am. So it doesn't matter where I am, I'm gonna get teleported one higher on the uh, Y coordinate. So if I go like this, I go one higher. If I move aside, like here, press it, higher, same thing happens if I go here. Every time, every time is the same thing. And if I go like this, let's say three, then I go three blocks high. And again, it will work from wherever I am. I'm just gonna get moved up three blocks higher. There we go. Same thing can be done using uh, X and Z coordinates. So here I'm going to get moved five blocks towards that direction. So if I pull it, push it here, I'm going to get moved right here. If I push it from here, I'm going to get moved right here. So it's always five blocks. And it doesn't matter where you are. It will teleport this amount of block from where you are. So it's quite useful for a command. Next, that command can obviously be used in the uh, chat bar. So if I go like TP myself. Uh, I'm going to use relative coordinates, so let's say 5 blocks high, and I go enter, it will work, but since it's in the chat bar, I don't have to use my name, unless I want to teleport someone else, but if it's for myself, I just go like this, put in the coordinates, and just go enter, and it will teleport yourself. And lastly, it does not work interdimensionally, so you can't teleport someone that's in the uh, nether or in the end, it has to be inside the uh, same dimension. So if you're in the overworld, you have to te teleport yourself or someone else to the overworld from the overworld. So you have to be in the same dimension for it to work. Again, it is not interdimensionally. And that will wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, check out my Facebook page and my Twitter. And again, guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.